a cousin early. I'm like, no, not trenches news. Trenches talk TV though. Now trenches talk. Trenches talk TV. Trenches talk TV. Hey, trenches talk. Trenches talk. We listen like we spoke with the East Side Left. Band down the road. Big thirty on my waist. I gotta stay strapped. Yo, this your boy Bandana Rose, and I'm back with another video for the trenches. And this video is about FYBJ Mang and the peace movement. But before we get into this video, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We do the japping, they do the capping. East side Chicago, west side Chicago, low end, wild hunters. Acknowledge me. So let's get into this video, man. J Mang pushing peace, man. I think J Mang should only be pushing peace within his guys, his community, and um, getting everything situated with 6030ians. You know what I'm saying? Um, only person can really push peace and sit down and talk to the old blockians is motherfucking young. Is the new top G? Is Dutchy? You know what I'm saying? You want to cause peace and you want to go over there with old block? You got to use your brain. You got to use common sense. Whole time though, young and them still making diss songs. Dutchy and them still making diss songs. The sixty thirty and still feel the way they feel about losing duck. So you should feel the same way too. You feel what I'm saying? Now, every the whole time, I understand you're trying to put things to a side. I understand you're trying to be grown about the shit, but some shit you got to leave alone. If you want to push peace, push peace within your guys. You won't got to go to O Block and do all that shit and sit with them and shake hands with them, especially after uh, losing a death of FBG Duck. You know what I'm saying? You got to make this shit make sense. If it was 10 years, five years or something down the line, then that'd be different. But not exactly after he died years and shit after he died. You know what I'm saying? When Duck was pushing the movement, you should have been with it. When Yella was pushing the movement, you should have been with it. Where the fuck y'all was at? Duck was on that type of time. And everybody should have stood behind Duck because Duck is the only one that can sit and actually uh, talk with these young guys. It ain't nobody from 63rd. Um, well, it is somebody from 63rd that can sit down and talk with these niggas. But it's not you, J man. You was not the chosen one. You was not young. You was not Dutchy. You was not uh, none of those guys from 63rd, bro. And for you to go over there and talk to these little niggas is crazy work. You feel what I'm saying? These little niggas' minds are still not developed. You got to think about when you was younger, J-Man. You got to think about when you was their age. You was still out there talking about pow, 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 this for duck. You talking about smoking on ops and all type of shit. So you got to think about where they mind frame at. And just because you're Muslims don't mean nothing. Because at the end of the day, you could be a Muslim, but... Look how long it took for Dirk to really uh, change his name and really get into his spirituality. And Dirk been Muslim since way back then, since his ass first went to jail for the pistol case. You know what I'm saying? On me. He became Muslim in jail. So at the end of the day, man, with this peace shit, man, if you really want to push peace, get with some nonprofit organization. Get with some people that's doing something for Chicago and start putting some money and some funds together for goddamn it, uh, for the kids. You know what I'm saying? For their youth programs and after school programs and field houses and things of that nature that's how you push peace that's how you get motherfuckers to change the narrative and agenda not you niggas linking up with a box of cereal shaking hands and doing all this shit for the camera you feel what i'm saying now another thing i want to say uh, uh, about this shit with jay main is at the end of the day um it's crazy work because i'm not even gonna lie to you bro um you let rainwater and them send you off I thought it was Young that sent you off, but it wasn't even Young because you went the whole block the first time. You went there the first time, it was over. You ain't had to go back the second time. But the reason Jay Main went back the second time, because if y'all watched the Say Cheese interview with him and Rainwater and all of them on there, Rainwater challenged him. Rainwater bet him 10000 that he couldn't go to low block with his chain and jewelry on, with regular shit, this, that, and the third. Y'all remember when he went to old block the last time, nigga had a Muslim hat. He had the, uh, the Muslim turban and shit. He had the, 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 the geek on and shit. He had his chain on, but he ain't had the charm on. And he, he, he was different. Now, when he come back the second time, he got his whole charm on, his whole chain on. He got a fuck you, pay me uh, jacket on. He dressed regular. You feel what I'm saying? If you was coming on that type of time, you should have came the same way you went before. You feel what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, like Ike Moon said, I can't agree. If you pushing peace, take all that shit down. You got to lead by example. So you want them to take their shit down, you got to do it too. But even if J-Main take his shit down, you still got the real 6030s, the, the new top G, Young, and got them and Dutchie and all them still making songs and still feel how they feel and this, that, and third. Even Butter feel how the fuck you feel. And them the main people that have to sit down from Butter, Young, and all them can sit down and talk to them and try to put some peace shit behind the scenes of this, that, and third. But at the end of the day, I don't see it happening. Too much bloodshed, too much pain, too much trauma. You got uh, Mama Duck got a lawsuit out on um, 
uh, on these people. You got the old blockies in jail because behind the dirt, sh uh, the duck shit. Man, you got so much shit going on, man. At the end of the day, only peace that you can motherfucking bring is amongst yourself, you and your baby mama, uh, uh, amongst your guys, and that's it, that's all, and everybody else. First, why is the opposition? Leave the opposition alone, bro. That's crazy work. I understand what you're trying to do, and I understand the narrative you're trying to push, uh, 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 paint and push, but at the end of the day, you're going about it the wrong way. You know what I'm talking about? I just gave you a pull up, take it and run with it. Like, share, comment this video. Y'all let me know how y'all feel below. This your boy, Bandana. Bros, and I'm out. Cause my kids gotta eat, gotta eat. and it's all on me in these sad town streets. Niggas playing for the key, they won't trade Martin me, so I ride around with it. Cause they